Good morning, modern steaders. It's another nice, balmy, rainy, 46 degrees out this morning. <sighs> Just what we need, more rain. It's supposed to get about an inch of rain today. But today, we're gonna try to take advantage of it. Good morning, pigs. Want some food? Come on. Look at that nice mud for you. Bet you'll have fun later on. Feed him in the dish this morning since it's raining, but I don't think it's gonna stay in there. Is that good? Look at all the rain we already got. This was empty last night. <sighs> if we get as much snow this winter as we've been getting rain this year, man, we're gonna be buried. Whoa, that was a hole. And I'll be glad we got the new truck and plow. I'll tell you what, this moisture hasn't let up, so I think we're going to be in for a doozy this winter. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't want to come out? It's too dreary out today for you. Morning, guys. What are you up to? Have fun at school. Okay. Don't get too wet. Okay. You playing any good songs in flute practice? Yeah. What's the new one you're learning? It's a laboratory fanfare. What is it? It's a laboratory fanfare. Oh. Okay, have a good day at school. Love you. Love you. You look like you're getting wet. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Good morning. You're quiet this morning. I like it. Two girls already finished your breakfast. Take that as a yes. Now that the goats are bigger, the kids, I should say, and they can't fit inside this feeder, oh, it works really good. I figure since it's gonna be a rainy day, let's see if we can get some of this brush pile burnt down while it's raining out. I have a bunch of pine scraps when we built the outdoor kitchen last summer. And I even kept them under a tarp. I find the hardest thing with brush fires is getting them started. So we're gonna start with a good hot fire first today and then add our brush on top of it because it's green and it's been rained on quite a bit. Thank you. 
think I better back the Kubota up. We don't need that catching on fire or burning our seat. Tell you what, that fire got hot fast. You get some brush burning now. Yeah, what a muddy, muddy mess. I wasn't too sure what the goats were going to think about the fire and the smoke, but it doesn't seem to be bothering them. Huh, Willow? in the comments now why'd you put that tree in the fire most of it's dead so we're gonna burn the stumps up and get them out of our way I'm gonna trim up that one get the brush out of here <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
Well, the rain's coming down really good right now. I'm just really excited we were able to get as much done as we did before it really started raining hard. We had like a two hour window of not much rain. And that's what's left of everything. I am very happy with that. We got a good hot bed of coals going. So that should stay burning throughout the rain. I'll have to come out and just mess around with the wood here and there to make sure it stays in a good pile as it burns. The goats really like this feeder. They can hide under the roof when it's raining out and not get wet. I don't know why one of my least favorite jobs is peeling potatoes. Instead of boring you with me peeling potatoes, we'll be back when they're all peeled. Now I need to get them all chopped up. We're gonna boil them. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes for our shepherd's pie. One of the reasons I really like shepherd's pie is it'll make a meal for quite a few nights. We'll probably get three meals out of this one dish. So make it once. And then it saves me from having to make dinner a couple of times throughout the week. I'm gonna brown up some ground pork. You don't need ground pork for this. We're using ground pork because that's what we have. Or you could use hamburger, any kind of ground up meat. If you have a leftover roast, you could grind the roast up and use the roast. We used to do that growing up. I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder. and a little bit of white pepper. People are always asking us about our pot and pan set. They're on our Amazon page. There's a link for that in the description down below. And a lot of the products that we use, if we get them on Amazon, they're on that page. The link's down there. All right, this step, we both think makes the world a difference to how the shepherd's pie tastes. You need to put the cream corn in and let it simmer for a little while with the meat. And it just makes everything so much more flavorful. I like to cook our potatoes till they're just about falling apart. Then I take them out. I'll let that melt for a minute. Man, I'm making a mess. But then I got a clean countertop. I'm gonna use some of our goat's milk. Perfect.
I made your favorite for dinner. Yeah. You excited? Yes. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put it in the oven. This is where I'm going to end today's video. This morning, believe it or not, when I was getting up from milking the goat, I turned around and looked, and I threw my back out. So my back's a little sore tonight. I wanted to go back outside and check out the fire. but So I think I'm going to take it easy for the rest of the night and hang out on the couch. So we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.